So this is weird, look. A balloon tied to a tree in the hair. We're here. Nowhere. We're literally in the middle of nowhere, as you can see. Not like a house there or a thing there. We are in nowhere. the land of nowhereness. There's a balloon, red balloon, 99, or no, 98. Red balloons. Wonder why that's there. Gia, what's that? It's pear. What is it, Gia? Why is there a red uh, balloon? Um, oh, my coke, sorry, Sam. Kind of Thank you. Kind of weaponize yourself. You can never be too careful. There's a balloon tied to a tree there for some reason. Oh, Could have just blown away from someone's thing, but a bit of a weird thing. So, how in the middle of nowhere, a red balloon? Mm. Might be something to do with with the hunt. Because when I came, they were hunting, weren't they? But no, because they, they, this is where they were running all over with their dogs. They, they weren't, there weren't no balloons up. I don't know where you would put balloons. That's a stupid idea. It's obviously just blown from somewhere that I don't bloody know. Why would there be a red balloon tied to a bush in here? Where Saren is? Weird. Hey, Gia. Weird girl, innit? 99 red balloons. Did I do forget another words to that song? But I really do like it a lot. I do. Did it even rhyme? Cause I said the word do twice. <laughs> so I was back there, so I'm entertaining myself by singing a stupid song. You got two. Two. Four hammers. Let me put this rubbish in your bag, please. Yike. Yike, yike, yike. Get in there. Ah. He's on one hand to do a two hand drop. Yeah, there we go. Sorted. <laughs> I always think that was like a little fairy land, that tree. I don't know why. I, I really don't. Because <laughs> I'm crazy, I suppose. But it's like a little fairy tree. I'm not sure why. My stupid imagination, I suppose. Hi, Sam is happy now. He's got two big things of mud, basically, clogs of mud, dug up old sunflowers, as always with Saren. My trousers keep falling down, really badly keep falling down. Everything I wear, jeans, are too big for me. My own belts, I just always forget to put one on. Always. Always. Plus, I've got jeans, I've probably got about 50 pairs of jeans and then but you think that's an exaggeration? It's probably an underestimation, actually. That's probably a massive underestimating how many pairs of jeans I've got. I've probably got more than 50. And I wear the same two pairs <laughs> all the time. Mate, sometimes I wear a black pair and the rest of the time I wear the same two pairs, which are identical, because they fit me right. Because otherwise they're too big. Because I'm a weird, weird gem of shape. Because I'm really short. I'm only five four, but my legs are stupidly long, like a bloody daddy long legs. So my actual inside leg is n not far off Mike's, and Mike's six foot. Yet yeah, our actual leg length. Is not far off. I got red on the stupid one. There's a three deer in that field there. Look, can deer spot them? Just there, just you. Let's spot them. Let's see if I can film close on them without the hair seeing them. There they are. There, I don't know. Do you see them? There, three deer. 
right there. running. So when they run, look at their little white tails. You can't really see them. <laughs> oh. oh, I wish I could close in on them. My camera's rubbish. I can never film them. I can never film them. They're only just there. Three little, I can see three little white tails. Three little white butts. <laughs> Three little white bums, isn't it, she? Hey, girl. See, you know that there, don't you? Hey, you see them? Hey, you see them, pop? <laughs> so you've got to think of all things like this as well when you get another dog. We've been as much as you know. G is amazing. She was already amazing when she came to us. We have put a lot of work in, especially Mike. But um, I should jump at other dogs and things like that. I should jump at deer. And, um, but, you know, she's awesome in her own right. So, you know, she's not taken much training at all. She's been incredibly lucky. She's incredibly loving with the kids and everyone. Can't you? There's one dog that she hates, which is the next door neighbour's. Uh, so it's weird. So the next door neighbour's got a horrible, scrappy, bloody uh, Jack Russell, right? And it's noisy and it's naughty, and the woman who owns it is scatty and stuff, and the dog's like her scatty. And it killed. It killed at least one of the kittens ages ago when they were little at least one of them and the mum maybe as well but we know for definite one at least of the kittens that killed Gia is fine with all other dogs she will just say hi and then sit down next to me she doesn't do anything she's just like hi sit down sometimes even lay down and most she'll do is whistle like she'll sit and make this whistling noise but this dog, I don't know what it is, I don't know if, because she likes the cats. I don't know if she knows, it's weird, isn't it? I don't know if she knows it's hurt one of her cats. Or I don't know if it is because it's the do only place that borders our whole house is the neighbour's house, which isn't attached. Obviously, we're completely detached. Our bungalow, our bunk cottage is to completely detached from the um, neighbours I mean they're too close they're not close they're too close for my liking but they're not very close they're just too close for my liking because I don't like people but I don't know if Reggie has got a problem with that specific dog because it's the only dog that borders her territory sort of thing and so she can smell it through the fence but she can't see it but she can smell it and it's noisy and annoying and it's like her territory sort of thing so, I don't know if it's that, because she hates it. She hates that dog. Absolutely hates it. It is a horrible dog, I don't blame her. Don't blame you, Gia. <laughs> it's a horrible dog. Scrappy little bitey killer, kitten killer. But she's just the only dog, only animal, she's been, had a problem with at all. Nula, which is Grandma Lily's dog, jumps all over you, doesn't she? And you don't care. Just jumps all over Gia, bites her, pounces on her, jumps all over her. Gia just lays there and takes it. And then after a while, Gia might put a paw on her. Okay, yeah, right. Piss off now. <laughs> that's it. That's all she'll do. It's like she'll just put one of her big paws on her, really gently. And it's like, right, yeah, go away now. <laughs> Leave her alone, Nula. Piss off. Hey, Gia. You're a good girl, aren't you? So we have been incredibly lucky. So it's like getting another dog what are the chances of being getting another dog that's fantastically well it's not we're getting a do if we do get this dog it's because it is it is on it hasn't been trained so we will be getting it because it is a bad dog sort of thing so we will have to do a lot of work with it her it sorry her so like i said still 
It's a lot to think about. I'm still thinking about it because it's going to be a lot to take on. I mean, it's going to be losing another sofa as well, isn't it, Gia? Because when we got you, G, we got they gained a, gained a new family member, but we lost the sofa, didn't we? Hey, because you're the size of it. Yeah, in her, whatever you want, my darling. Oh, peewees. I hate seeing pigs in um, fields and farms and stuff. Because, why? Because what can you get from a pig? Well, you can't milk a pig. You can't lay pig eggs. You can't <laughs> shear a pig. So, you can't do anything with a pig bar eat it. Do you know what I mean? That's it. So you know, if you see loads of pigs, like, <laughs> there's only one thing you can do with a pig. Not me, personally, I'm vegetarian. Or we are vegetarian, but when you see, keep it as a pet, but <laughs> that's not what they're doing. What? Well, yeah, you can't put every, all them pigs in that field, go and put them in a petting zoo. Not gonna happen. When you see pigs in a field, you're like, oh no. You're yeah, just meat walking around. You're like somebody's sausage walking on legs. It's horrible. It's horrible. I hate it. I hate that thought. My mind's a weird place, isn't it? But that's what I think. I see pigs in the field and I just think, oh my God, those pigs are just sausages on legs. <laughs> Poor little fuckers. Seriously. There's nothing else a pig can give you, is there? Apart from meat. It's like a cow. Oh, you've got a chance that they're dairy cows. Chickens are laying eggs. Sheep even. They might, doubt it, but they might be used as fleece, doubt it. But pigs, they're a definite... You can't use them for anything bar eating them. Sure, I think that's where inclined. I do truffle... They, they're not in this country, but pigs, they take pigs truffle hunting, do they? Is that right? Am I right on that in other countries where truffles are? Is it pigs that dig them up? Wild boar? Or pigs? Wild pigs? Don't they? Oh, I don't know. I'm just gibbering about pigs now. <laughs> so I'm going to go again. If I start going on about pigs again. And yeah. So that's going nowhere. Bye. <laughs>